Hi there, and welcome to Art from the Cottage. So today I thought I'd show you a very simple, um, very uh, dramatic landscape. So the colours that I'm using today are cream, white, magenta, orange, black, and cerulean blue. And you'll see that I've covered canvas in a burnt orange and have made that by mixing orange and black. And I've just put in um, the shape of a sunset, the sun going down. It's going to be quite a colourful, colourful um, painting. Very easy to do, just a few steps. And the first step was to put paint the canvas in a burnt orange and take out a little circle where you want the sun to be setting. And then you need to mix uh, magenta and black and brown together um, to make the um, trees in the background. And just leave some gaps in the trees um, so that you can see the the sky through through the gaps and bring the trees right down into the um into the water that's going to be the water and bring the trees right down um so that you, we're going to get reflections in other words this is a really good painting for beginners because if you follow what i'm doing it'll it'll you need to start off being loose, you know, having your painting uh, nice and loose and not, um, you know, tight and precise. And the, the, the best paintings, the Impressionist paintings, anyway, are very loose. So we've got in a lovely burnt orange sunset in the background, in the, the first layer. And now I've mixed a cerulean blue, black and cream to create a sort of light denim color, gray blue, which is beautiful. And I'm putting that in the side um, of the painting. And I'm continuing with that color down into where the water is going to be. So you'll see already we've got the sky, we've got a dramatic um, colour in the sky, we've got a beautiful denim blue in the sky, and we've brought the denim blue down into the water, but I'm still um, exposing some of the orange. And now I'm just putting in um, a reflection of the fading sun on the water and you can do that any way you like you can just put, get a little um, palette knife and put it in or a brush and put it in uh, but don't put it in solid um, paint put it in just have a little um, small amount on your brush and put it in um, so that you can see the color underneath it and now I'm just putting in a quick cloud just to see what they look like. I'm just using the cream for that. I usually mix my cream with white and um, yellow, some kind of yellow. As a ye usually yellow ochre, actually, I use for that. Make a beautiful cream. You can have it as intense as you like. And um, so that's what I'm doing, just making a bit of cloud in the sky. And now I'm putting in some dark, very dark, black, actually, um, into the base of the trees to create like a sort of um, a, a line of hedgerow, if you like. And I'll just put a little bit more paint on that um, reflection of the sun going down. So I'm just um, adding bits of uh, blue, the denim blue, into the foreground. 
And what you can do is you, when it's dry, you can get a palette knife and you can sort of scrape across it. And it looks like, you know, you're making um, reflections in the water. Um, let's see what else am I doing? Keep adding a little bit more to that um, hedgerow there. It looks lovely. Very dark at the bottom of the um, beautiful magenta coloured trees. And it's starting to look nice. And these are the tools that I was using, which is just a flat brush, a decorated brush. I always use decorated brushes. Don't have very many specialist um, brushes except fan brushes and some round brushes. Um, so I've done this whole painting with a decorated brush and a, a palette. And I thought this would be a very easy painting for a beginner who wants to do impressionist um, painting, loose impressionist painting. And um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, um, I would, it would be lovely if you could um, press the like button you know, the thumbs up button. And also, if you did decide to subscribe to my channel to see future videos, that would be lovely as well. So with that, I'll say thank you so much and bye for now. And as always, love from Cornwall.